Question 12a from our Term 1 Year 11 exam asks students to discuss ways that environmental factors can impact on an individual's health. The question was worth four marks. The key parts of the question here we're looking at is obviously the key term being discuss environmental factors and the impact that some of these environmental factors can have on an individual's health. If we just go to our syllabus and have a quick look at our syllabus, what we'll notice here is under the, the point of the determinants of health, we'll notice down here it actually mentions environmental factors, examples being geographical location, access to health services and access to technology. So to get four marks, students were required to talk about environmental factors, including these three. They're the three they need to talk about and the impact that they have on someone's health. Got a couple of sample answers here for you. First one here says, discuss, again, the question, discuss ways that environmental factors can impact on the individual's health. Environmental factors such as location, access to health services, and access to technology. They've already been mentioned there. Location, access to health services, and access to technology. There's the three. We go back to our syllabus, geographical location, access to health services, and technology. They've been set out well. Location, geographical location here, it's been underlined. The students have been able to go through and explain the impact it would have on individuals based on their location. Same with access to health services. It may affect, affect those in rural areas by having to travel hundreds of kilometres to see a doctor. It's going to have an impact. Put them at risk of a bad health in some dimensions. Access to technology, depending on the environment. Rural areas may put them at risk of not having the acquired knowledge to sustain good health. So again, we've covered the three areas here and we've linked it to the question which is saying the impact they have on an individual's health. Have a look at a second answer here. The difference, the first thing I know is the difference between the two is, if you, if you look at this one, and you compare it to the one beforehand, is that this is the one we looked at first of all, it's underlined, so it stands out and it's much easier. I know exactly what I'm looking at. First on this one, for example, hasn't really underlined it as well as we'd like, or even at all, but it's still got the three areas in there, and I think they're, I've scanned them. I think they've been written in red, which is why they stand out a little bit more. But again, geographical location, access to health, access to technology, the three areas that the, the syllabus required us to talk about and how they impact on an individual's health. So that's what, that's what students needed to do. The main concern for me with this question was that students were unable to look at the actual environmental factors. Students weren't able to include the environmental factors that were given based on the syllabus, weren't able to talk about the individual's health. Okay, so for four marks, I was looking for three of the factors there which were listed from the syllabus, which we all should have known before the exam. Students need to include them in the answer, so geographical location, so what it is and how it can impact on individuals' health. That's what students failed to do. Um, the other concern would be the setting out, whether it's written in red or whether it's underlined as the example it shows over here. We need to make sure that we present our answer or the elements of our answer we want to really stand out in a way that the mark will be able to see them. So that was my other concern I had. So that was question 12A.